Hey, welcome back to another episode of Oris All Stars. This is a series where we follow our gear to the hands of different creators and gamers around the world and see how they're using all of our stuff. So what's cool about making stuff for the world of gaming is that it keeps you on your toes. You're always having to make gear that is the highest spec and up to the highest standard. And because of this, it's really great for everything from editing videos to making music. In fact, our last episode featured a really great YouTube creator named Linus from Linus Tech Tips. If you haven't seen that episode yet, link in the bottom. Today's episode features a musician from Canada. He's turned his home into his own music studio where he gets to create music, game, and just generally hang out. So how to end this in a musically appropriate way? That's right, I have two cameras. You're not thinking about what bills you have to pay or what you have to do tomorrow. You're just in that moment creating that one thing and that's all you're focused on. You work all day and you, you want a place to, to come back and be chill. My name is Lowell and I'm living here in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. And I work full time as an IT consultant. Waterloo is kind of known as a, a bit of a mini uh, Silicon Valley. And I spend my days, you know, working with these companies and making sure that their IT needs are being met. I love to do music production and gaming and photography and uh, I love actually shooting videos as well. My main hobby would be music production. When I'm not at work that's definitely where I'm spending the majority of my time and then I like to relax a little bit at the end of the day and maybe play some games and blow some stuff up. For this particular room my inspiration was just trying to go for something where I can, you know, really chill out and be inspired. That's why I've got the lighting system on the walls. You know, I wanted something where I could set the temperature of the lights to suit my mood and come back and, and get chilled after a, a tough day. I mean, I say tough day, but you know, it's, it's IT. It's not like I'm out, you know, with, uh, carrying uh, bricks or something on my back. Every time I get it set up and perfect, I think, okay, this is it. Uh, then I rip it all apart and change it again. So obviously there's a part of me somewhere that actually just enjoys setting up a space like that. I started making music when I was probably three or four years old. There was an old piano in my parents' basement that I'd sit down and play, and my feet wouldn't even reach the pedals. My dad would play famously his rendition of God Save the Queen over and over. I don't know why. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. My parents were big fans of Rod Stewart, Neil Diamond, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, and there's lots of pictures of me with this high, um, wearing headphones, plugged into their record player, listening to that kind of music. For me, art or music is uh, like another language. It's a way to describe something that you, you, know, you might not be able to do with words. Actually, I think probably one of the hardest things you could do was would be to you know take a sound or a song and try and describe it using only words. When I'm looking at a landscape or I'm looking at an area, I'm always thinking about what music would work with it. When I was about 12 years old, my dad brought home a, a, a Tandy 1000 EX, which was one of the, the first IBM compatible PCs. There was a game on it, which I loved. It was called uh, Space Quest. It was by Sierra, and it was one of those uh, adventure games when you had to actually type in, you know, put rock on geyser or whatever your command was. So it wasn't just about trying to play the game. You actually had to figure out what the developer wanted you to do in that situation. You had to actually type in the right thing. So that's actually where I started saying, oh, you know, I need to learn a little bit about this. And, you know, I kind of develop an interest in that. With my setup being at the center of everything that I do, my career, music production, gaming, I need something that I can switch between all those tasks and do that seamlessly. Gaming for me is all about the atmosphere, about the immersion. That works best when you've got all the settings cranked on high and you've got everything smooth. And when I'm producing audio, I need a system that you know, I don't have to worry about how many instruments I have in the song or, you know, how many effects I'm running. What I'm looking for is three things. I want something that has performance and reliability, and it's got to look cool. 
You can make convincing orchestra, you know, just with the PC at home, you know, in, in your bedroom, which I think is really cool. Especially when I look back to where it started or, or where I started with it, with these little samples. These days, you know, mostly I'm producing uh, house music and uh, orchestral music. And uh, when I pick up the guitar, I always end up somehow playing blues. I don't know what it is about guitar and blues, but I, I can't pick one up without channel my inner B.B. Uh, King or uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. That would be a better example. Except nowhere near as good as Stevie Ray Vaughan. It can be hard sometimes to get into after after working all day, but I read a tip somewhere and, and someone said, try something for five minutes and see, and before I know it, an hour has gone by. I just want people to hear what I'm making. Just getting it out there and having it reach other people's ears, that's what it's all about. The computers have progressed and become the centerpiece for most studios now. You can score an entire movie now just with a computer. You see a lot of things in life and you experience a lot of things. Art or music is, is another way to, to talk about those things that probably can't do with words. There probably aren't words to describe that type of stuff. Some form of art should be a part of everyone's life. Everybody has a story to tell. Some stories just can't be told with words. You need that outlet, and plus, it's a great feeling. Don't try and be this person or that person. Just, you know, sit down and, and, and write what, what you've got to say. Let people hear what you've got inside. Man, I always really enjoy seeing someone who's put so much time and effort into creating the space that is perfect for them, the space that they want. What did you think about Lowell's studio? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thanks for coming on this journey with us, going all the way from Taipei to Tokyo and even to Canada to get a glimpse into the lives and the stories behind pro gamers, makers, YouTubers, and musicians. It's been an honor for us to make this series and we hope that you enjoyed it. We'll put links to all the other episodes down in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.